So if you watch my last video, you know that EA is dropping an album on Friday, supposedly, and it's a joint album with Todd Dallasai. And this album marks EA's return to the music scene since the controversial anti-Semitic remarks he made back in 2022. The album is still expected to drop on Friday. Even though it did get pulled from the Apple Music server, you can't even pre-add it anymore. It is still expected to drop on Friday and it's generating significant buzz among fans and the industry. On December 11th, both Ye and Ty Dolla Sign hosted a listening party and it was crazy, right? Playboy Cardi was super late, he didn't even arrive to the listening party. Freddie Gibbs was there, Offset, Lil Durk, Bump J, even Northwest and Ye's kids were there as well. So it was more of a low key listening party compared to like Don the listening party or Life of Pablo listening party or other listening parties that Ye hosted. So this album seems to be a very, very subtle return to music, but yet the sounds on this sound insane. I think there will be multiple bangers on this album like the beats the sounds like yay's back and he's here to fuck it up to be honest now to all people i think it was playboy cardi who unveiled like the first version of the album cover and honestly despite all the controversial elements of this whole entire rollout album whatever the case may be the album boasts an impressive lineup of guest artists, including Nicki, Young Thug, Lil Baby, uh, Playboy Cardi, Northwest is on a song as well that they previewed during the listening party, and also veteran producer Timbaland is also rumored to be involved now. If you didn't watch the Drink Champs video with Kanye, he says that Timbaland is one of his favorite producers now. Timbaland is a legend, so we're really in for a big treat on this whole entire project. And it's supposed to be 18 tracks long, which I think is a pretty good amount, considering we haven't heard an official album from Ye or Ty Dolla Sign as well for over a year. Alright, he wouldn't be Ye if there wasn't no controversy, so... During the listening party, Ye donned a Ku Klux Klan KKK style hood during the Miami listening party. And this follows his previous actions, such as debuting the t-shirt that read White Lives Matter and also making anti-Semitic statements. So this is crazy. All those events that happened last year eventually led to the termination of partnerships with Adidas and Gap. And allegedly the new album addresses these allegations with Ye explicitly deny anti-semitism in proactive lyrics as the public literally eagerly anticipates the release of vultures Ye seems poised to like reclaim his position in the music industry addressing the controversy surrounding him throughout his music and collaborations the album promises a diverse range of tracks including one that features a sample of the backstreet boys and it's called everybody but i also heard that Ye didn't even get the sample cleared according to tmz so is that song still even gonna be in the album i have no idea and honestly i'm expecting this album to really really take over i'll catch you guys in the next one and let me know what you guys think about vulture so far have you guys heard the leaked files let me know what you guys think in the comments and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace